Hey y'all, it is Thursday, August 3rd, 2023, and I finished my uh, privacy screen, sunblock, whatever you want to call it, because that's my bathroom window right there, and my shower is going to be right inside of there. It blocks real well. I, I just had four boards on each side to finish. I just went and bought them this afternoon. Because I got paid today. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... I got my black paint. I decided to go with black. My other video, I made a couple, I think. Uh, two, three, maybe. Videos when I was doing this. I asked for comments, but nobody gave me none, <laughs> any, and uh, I had thought about painting it white to match the house, but I then I decided on black, well, I thought about black, I was really leaning toward black anyway, because it, it's supposed to just fall into the background, but of course against the white house it ain't going to do that, <laughs> I don't think. But I think it'll be a great background for the plants that I'll put in front of it. I'm not going to put anything in the ground, though. I'm going to build some little boxes that are attached to the screen itself. Because this is my septic tank under there. Under here. And all my filter bed out through there. But I've got the posts on either side of it. On either side. So, what's in between is the bed. I mean, the septic tank. You can kind of see the cement part right there. That's the lid. Yeah, this is a nice little nook over in here. Um... I'm going to cut these branches back tomorrow, I think. And one of these days, <laughs> I moved these over here so they wouldn't get crispy. I got a lot of roots on them. And I want to do, right over there, this is, goes down. You can see that or not. Make like a little rain garden out in there, honestly. But... That is my um, wisteria. I started growing that thing down in Milton off of a cutting, and I kept trying to keep it from attaching itself to anything because I wanted it to grow into like a tree form. Um, I might still put up an arbor or something for it to grow on though. I haven't decided yet, but my roses right there, I really want to get them on an arbor out front. I wanted to do it like, uh, you know, a man gate, you know, a gate for one person to go through um, on the front part, like an arbor up over it and the uh, roses growing on that, because both of those are climbers. And they want to climb. <laughs> They've been in their pots a long time. I need to either up pot them or get them in the ground. And then all these are different kinds of trees that I've been growing from cuttings. But I want to do a trench down through right there and then all these that are rooted, I'm just going to lay them down in there and let them take off and then I'll dig them up you know, individually and um, move them around to different pl different spots. So I got gardenia in here and I, and it's this is that white flower whatever that shrub was that was on the corner of the house over there that I moved out back. And then these 
are my roses sharing right here of course that's my rosemary and I got a tomato plant oh right there that was one of the um I just got it soaking in that water right now because it was kind of dried out I just watered everything this afternoon I've been here got another one of them wands I got one out back now I got one up here I really like them I got it at Walmart I ordered that in my black paint <laughs> I got the Rust-Oleum one I'm paying a little more for it but I've always had good luck with Rust-Oleum it's supposed to be a um, primer and a paint and it's exterior I got the satin finish instead of the flat and then over here I put them out there I got those two more boards I went this afternoon and picked up all this stuff because that fence out there it, it kind of flimsy <laughs> if you want to know the truth but I mean it's doing the job you know but I mean I built the thing and I got uh, extra boards on this side but the other side because of the way I got that wheel I think at the bottom and the um it's on the other side and then I got that little